excited about about this Italian ice because I'm an Italian and really? I, I and it's so fattening and so bad for you all that sugar. But you've got a new way to make it. I right? do, I do. I'm really excited about this, and this is the dish I picked to show you because it's kind of like a magic trick. It's like something you could do at the dinner table at the end of a meal. Oh wow! Easily, it's very cool. We'll oh, make like it together. It. So normally, normally but um, I love Italian this ice. Thing. Yeah, here. This, no. These are the calorie differences. So it's huge. Okay. All right, so. Oh, normally. So normally, four ounces of Italian ice and ice cream would be at least 300 calories, tons of fat, at least five grams. If you're talking about ice cream, it could be 20 grams of serving. Right. This is 55 calories and fat free. I'm going to turn it over. 55 calories and fat free. Okay. Which is almost hard to believe. You should doubt these numbers because they are hard <laughs> to believe. So we start with water right. and lemon juice right. and agave nectar, which is a low glycemic sweetener that I noticed you have yeah. in your cabinet yeah, already. Oh, yeah. And it's fun that you have it because most of the time when I mention it, people are like, what? Yeah, yeah no, that's good. Stevia. Okay, tell us what this is. Okay, so it, because it's an herb that grows in Colombia, everyone thinks this is like an illegal substance, but it's it not. Makes it it's, better. It's, <laughs> <laughs> that's right, the 60s. Right. right? Um, it's, it, it's an herb that's 300 times sweeter than sugar. It literally grows like an herb does, leaves. They dry the leaves and they make powder. And, and where can, do we buy that? You can buy it anywhere. It's been available for almost a hundred years. And so, say the name again. Stevia. 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 Okay. It's in the hippie section. You okay. Know. Yeah. <laughs> I'll find it. If you go to you know where they sell like the whole grains and stuff like that. Right. So it's it helps to have this blender. This is a particularly powerful blender that has a low setting uh -huh. like that. You see how low that is? Yeah. That's really cool. That makes a big difference. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is add the thickener, the thing that's going to give this ice cream its texture, and that's xanthan gum. Xanthan gum is a natural thickener that just comes from, I told you, bacterial slime. I know. I know. It sounds don't terrible, tell right? Don't it tell sounds us that awful. Part. And where do you buy that? Also in the hippie section. Oh, okay, in the hippie good. section. Let me turn it off a little bit to get that moving. And you'll see it'll thicken immediately. The good thing about xanthan right. gum is that it thickens with agitation. But you don't need right. to boil it. You don't need to do anything. Right. Right. All right. And now we're going to add the strawberries. And it's really important that the strawberries are frozen. Uh -huh. So I even brought dry ice just to make sure that they would be frozen when they went in the blender. Because you're the perfect guest. Because if, <laughs> if they melt, then it doesn't work so much. Right. This is kind of where the magic happens. You have to turn it up real high. And don't be afraid. Start it up. Heat it down. Most of your guests probably have left by now. <laughs> Call the police. Or... No, no. Most of my guests would be so impressed by now. Oh, wow. Go. Look at that. Just imagine your kids having as much ice cream as they want. As they want. And, and, no, and sugar. no one getting upset about it. And no sugar. That's right, no sugar. Oh, gosh. Can I have just, it now? Just the hippie stevia and agave. Oh, delicious. I mean, it's basically pureed strawberries. It's delicious. And what I want to do is I'm going to have to. Uh, put up a recipe for you because I want you to be able to make this. This is great. I'm having a dinner party next week and I'm going to do it. And I'm going to do it at the table. So with an explanation, it took, what, about five minutes to make exactly. this? Exactly. It's, it's an under a minute and six ingredients. Just terrific.